This kit comes with five printed circuit boards, of which are all tested by Rapid. They go through an inspection, which makes sure that the printed circuit boards all work correctly and that the circuit is operating correctly. Each board has a name tag of which you can write the name of your student on. You can buy these kits in packs of five or in class packs of 20. It also comes with five battery packs, five buzzers and five IC sockets and chips. This kit comes with two different types of resistors in groups of five, so there are two resistors per kit. A additional note for the resistors is that if the variable resistor is set on its minimum value when the timer is switched on or while the circuit is powered, then the 555 IC will be damaged, which are these ICs here. This kit also comes with five push buttons, five silver presets, which are these things here, five LEDs, five capacitors, and five switches, and a red lead, or in my case a green lead, a grey lead, is needed to connect the push button to the board. First up are the resistors. The brown, black, orange resistors, the ones closest to us, go in R1 on the board, while the yellow, purple, black resistors go in R2 on the board. Next up is the preset component, the silver component on the far left. This goes on the preset marking on the board. Then there is the capacitor, which goes in the capacitor circle, making sure that the longer leg goes through the positive hole. Same with the LED, making sure that the longer leg goes through the positive hole on the hexagon circle. And then last up is the switch on the far right, which goes through the switch hole on the far left of the board. The buzzer on the right, the black cylinder component, goes on the buzzer marking next to it on the board, making sure that the longer leg on the right goes through the positive hole. Then there is the battery pack on the right, which goes here on the board, making sure that the black lead goes through the negative hole and the red through the positive. Then there is the IC chip and socket. The IC socket goes on the 555 marking on the board, making sure that the circle marking on the chip matches up with the one on the board, and the circle marking on the chip matches up with the one on the socket. Last up is the switch combined with the lead. This lead here needs to be cut to your required length. Then you need to trim off the rubber part to leave the copper braids at both ends. You then need to feed the copper le want the copper braids through these two holes there. And then you need to solder it into place. Then you need to feed the two leads through these two holes here and solder it into the board. Here is the finished kit. As you can see, all the components are in the board and the push button is soldered through the lead and into the board and the battery is inserted into the PP3 battery pack.